Andy Warhol's 1964 silkscreen portrait of Marilyn Monroe has sold for $195 million at auction. Robert Frank uh, joins us now. Pretty close, but the uh, price is right. The under one. Yeah, pretty close and a huge number, Joe. Uh, Warhol's Blue Marilyn going for $195 million. That was just shy of the estimate of more than $200 million. It is the most expensive American artwork ever sold at auction. And the second most expensive piece ever auctioned, that's just behind the $450 million Da Vinci. But under the surface last night, there were some signs of weakness, at least a little bit. There were only three bids for this Maryland, and bidding lasted only about four minutes. It finally stalled out at around $170 million. So with a $25 million in auction fees, that's where you get the sale price of $195 million. The winning bid came from the mega art dealer Larry Gagosian. He bought it on behalf of of an unnamed client. So we still really don't know who actually bought this last night. There were 35 other works sold for a total of $317 million. That was the lower end of the estimate. About 45% of the buyers were American, 45% European, and 10% Asians. The Asian buyers just were not out last night, and that could be a problem as the week goes on. Christie's and Sotheby's have $2 billion worth of art lined up over the next two weeks. And Joe, my favorite pieces are coming up for auction on Thursday. Ann Bass selling three Monets. You've got one of Parliament, the Poplar Trees, and of Giverny. These, all three of these pieces were in her living room. Can you imagine walking in that room? All three of these pieces probably worth four to five times the apartment. And she's also selling a Rothko, which I know that you and Becky just, just love. 